Cedric Kiplimo is assembling his artificial intelligence powered stereoscopic camera at Didan Kimathi University of Technology in Kenya's central region. Next, he will head out to collect data. We really do not have granular data on, on forests. Um, developed nations usually have um, like things called national forest inventories, which are essentially huge collections of data sets on forests, um, like you know, individual measurements of these trees, uh, from sample plots and so on. In Africa, we don't have that. So Kiplimo is trying to change that with the help of an AI-powered application called Tree Vision. Tree Vision uses stereoscopic images of trees to provide a three-dimensional understanding of the area. It does this by generating data on trees' height, diameter, and other features. It also indicates the level of degradation in a given area. This information can be used to inform reforestation efforts and monitor the growth of trees in reforested areas. The app can also project the amount of carbon that can be stored within a growing patch of forest. All this will make the work of conservationists much easier. If you can take away some of the burdensome tasks that they may have to do, and make them automate some of them and also be able to capture data more easily. It allows them to, to monitor larger areas and then save their, their time to maybe make now to implement on interventions. The Global Forest Watch says Kenya lost about 8% of its humid primary forest or old growth rainforest over the past two decades. And that in part led to a 12% decrease in Kenya's total tree cover. Conservationists say human activities contributed to that loss. A lot of the, our people out there uh, resort to, to harvesting trees, probably for charcoal or timber or something else in order to survive. Um, the other uh, losses experienced is, uh, is the kind of land use that is happening. A lot of people are clearing even very marginal areas to do farming. The Kenyan government launched a campaign in late 2022 to plant 15 billion trees by 2032. James Mwangombe says innovations like tree vision can help Kenya reach that target. So such innovations would be very welcome because uh, they'll cut down on, on cost, both labor and actual finance, uh, as compared to when you have officers on the ground to go and do the actual counting and assessments. As Kenya works to restore its lost tree cover, Kiplimo hopes his innovation can help restoration efforts succeed. Juma, Majanga, VA News, Nyeri, Kenya.